Hello gamers, welcome to episode 20 of the series. This is Flish from the future. I'm just showing you guys a quick rundown of how this episode is going to go. So our main goal uh, is this compression dynamo setup that I have going on right here. I know it looks crazy right now, but all will be explained in the episode. It, this produces about 6480 RF per tick when it's fully on but it's not right now because you know it's we're full in energy so it's producing is about 12 tick 12 rf per tick per machine um yeah but to keep up with the demands of this whole setup i've actually we are going to upgrade our canola farm here with lily pads of fertility and it, the little pads of fertility just pretty much makes the uh, canola seeds right we have right here they just grow so much faster as you guys can see in front of us it's growing right in front of us and um and i also upgraded our botania system here which is great which was totally worth it act to be honest because before we only had three endo flames and that wasn't cutting it boys mana wise it just wasn't all that great um yeah to be honest with y'all uh, this uh, this whole setup was kind of unnecessary and not worth it it costed me mu a lot of materials and time and grinding so yeah i could have just built another reactor and gotten much more rf per tick but yeah I did this anyway, so I hope you guys are ready for this episode. Whoop! While it is nice to have an extreme reactor here, giving us quite a bit of RF, I would like to have a more passively generated um, RF source. So, I'm planning on upgrading these things with Lillipad Fertilities. But to get that, I need Slime Pearl, I have everything else. Slime pearls. Ooh. What can we get slime pearls, gamers? I have to find a slime chunk. And kill slime. So. My method of finding the slime chunk is going to have to be mining down. I wonder if our map can figure out where slime ch chunks are. That would be nice. You know, unfortunately, I cannot find a way to get it to show slime chunks at least not that i know of if you guys know let me know so we're gonna go down let me google um which y coordinates the slimes even spawn so it has to be below layer 40 okay and the chances are one out of every 10 chunks is a slime chunk that being said Let's go clear out a area. That was our 9 chunks. And that's 25 chunks. Alright, I'm at Y equals 32. Technically, it should spawn if it isn't strong. I'm actually gonna go all the way here real quick. Alright gamers, here's the deal. I'm gonna hollow out this whole area using the builder. Just like this. Give it some energy. Huh, I'm missing a flux point. It's okay. Basically, you want to come here. No, wait. So, this is the first corner all the way over there. I kind of just want a nine block. I want a nine block radius so that I could have some roof, some jumping space. Yeah, let's go get our flux point. Alright, let's hollow this out, gamers. Start it. Alright, we're playing out the a big space. I see skeletons. Hmm. I am looking for slime. It's probably a little bit darker for you guys. But I could see pretty okay in the dark right now. Hmm. Hoping to see chunk. Uh, slimes. Alright. 
that's happening, I'm gonna go, uh, check out my inventory. Alright. Let me see if I could light up the area. It's gonna be a lot of annoying monsters in the way, but it's gonna be fine. No, I am hoping to find slimes as I do this. That would be ideal. Supposedly, they should be able to spawn here. Oh, found one. Good. Oh man, I've can we do we have a bucket? Oh no. I'm I wasn't prepared boys, but at least we know there's a slime chunk in one of these one of the twenty-five. Alright, now that we've found our slime There is we need to duplicate him. And there, right here, we'll be using the industrial foregoings and thus, um, mob duplicator. So, got that. You know what, let's go make another mob crusher while we're at it. And some fortune. And a range upgrade. There it is. And books and quills. Alright, got my books. Got my fortunes. Now we'll just need to put in the anvil. And I would like to set up an area to use the mob duplicator. Honestly, this area is fine right here. Yep. Actually, let's put it on top of there. Just so that we could save on some space. Just because. And now we just need to give it some energy, like so. And the way this mob duplicator works is place it down. Honestly, place it down right here. And this ineffable blast can go here. Yep. Oh, why is it going up and down? Well, that's kind of not my intention. You know what? That's fine. That is just fine. I don't know why it's going up and down. So we're going to need to fill this with essence and energy. Then we'll give it some fortune. And what's going to happen is the mobs are going to spawn on the duplicator. And this mob crusher is going to get them. But first we need to get some essence. This is a nice tank of essence. Hmm. The easiest way to do this. I think we need more experienced obelisks, so let's go get some. Okay, I got four. And then we'll just place one right here for the point of having one on top of there. And we'll have one here. Hopefully it's able to suck out the essence from the obelisk. Uh, first, actually, I'm going to show you guys how this works before we get to that. So, we are in need of the mob imprisonment tool. Just like that. Oh, we need gas deers. Let me go grab some gas. Oh, I see a gas. Very good. I expected it to be a little bit longer, act to be honest. But we will do to this gas what we need to do to slime. I don't know why that portal is kind of loud. So we got, we'll place it in here. And it's gonna drain essence to make gas. Alright, it's not. Unfortunately, I don't know what's wrong. I guess this is liquid XP and it needs to be essence. So we're gonna need a uh, fluid dictionary, wouldn't it be? Yep. Let's go get one of those. So what this is going to do is it's going to uh, convert um, liquid XP into essence. 
Let's add another one just in case we need it in the future. So here we go. We got the fluid dictionary. So we want to take liquid XP, turn it into essence. And we want it coming from this obelisk. There we go. So this obelisk is gonna push XP into here. Yes. It's gonna take liquid XP, turn it to essence, and then place it in the mob duplicator. Let's try it. There it is, it's filling up. And it should spawn us a gas. It should spawn us a gas. But is it going to? Huh, maybe we need to give it a range because... Because I don't think the gas does not have enough space to spawn. So let's give it that. See if it works now. Oh, why did it stop? Oh, there it is. There it is, there's the gas. He goes in here. Bam, we got gas tears and gunpowders. Very good. And it's probably hard to hear me over that the gas. But I'm just gonna leave it for a little bit. Oh my goodness, gamers, why is it so loud? I can still hear it from all the way here. That's crazy. Is there a sound dampener? Sound muffler. We'll get one of these. I don't know what the range of these things are, but hopefully it's enough. There we go. No more sound from y'all. What? Okay, that's weird. How come I'm still able to hear them? They're crazy. Don't exactly know how the muffler works, but I think it's working. So, that is that. Go ahead and get ourselves another mob imprisonment tool. And go grab ourselves a slime. Huh, the wiki says it's regardless of light level, so it should be able to spawn. Hmm. You know what? Go ahead and clear out. Hopefully, we will be able to spot slime. Huh, that's weird. I saw slime here earlier, so it has to be here somewhere. Where is he, gamers? Huh. I don't see a slime at all. I think there's too many monsters out here, so let's clear them out. Okay, I think I need to go away so they'll despawn. And I'll come back and hopefully a spawn will. A slime will spawn, right? I need the green boys to get the slime pearl. Oh, I see a slime! Find. Oh my goodness, boys. I forgot my mob imprisonment tool. Oh no. You better not disappear. I guess I need you. I can't believe this. Stay. Alright. I don't think he stayed. I think this is another slime. But it's fine. We got our slime. My goodness, boys. That took forever. But we got the slime to make the slime pearls. So, let's go ahead and give this a lot more levels and change this to slime. There we go. Should get slime pearls. Oh no. Why is it spawning over there? You know what? It's fine. Everything's fine. We got slime pearls. Alright. Let's go ahead and try to connect these. We, we have a small slime problem. Oh, we're being overrun, but it's fine. Maybe I should have definitely made a separate space for these. Go ahead and raise this up so that it doesn't spawn down there anymore. Mm, one more. You know what, gamers? Let's set, it, let's set this up somewhere else. This is messing me up. Uh, did I just die from slimes? Because I was... Oh my goodness, gamers. I'm crying right now. Oh my. Can't believe this. Stop. Get away. Get away. Try and get my stuff back. 
No, my stuff. Please. Slime, you're crazy. Okay. Well then. Um. Turns out we have to wait for them to die through my slaughter factory here. Mm, they're dying very slowly. Oh, two minute cooldown. Alright, I'm finally back. Get my stuff back. Can't believe died to slime boys. Embarrassing. Yeah, we'll just set it up right here. Like I initially thought I wanted. Huh. So I'm building this and I'm missing some of my items. I hope I just misplaced them and they didn't get deleted for some odd reason. Okay, I did misplace. XP obelisk and the dictionary. That's weird. How they get? Huh. They must have gotten picked up by the ender chest, I believe. Somehow. There we go. Insert extract from here. There we go. We got slimes. Four days. Hmm. The only problem is they do get out of range I'll see if I lower the range of this add-on all right I have a plus three hopefully this works better there we go it looks like it's mm, maybe a plus two plus one baby huh believe it or not boys we are out of rubber huh I see that one coming did we all right, now we got more plastic. Just give it a plus one add-on. Hmm. There we go. Nope, this one. That's the only place they can spawn. Hopefully, they don't spread apart like what I'm seeing right now. It's so annoying. Ah, yes, much better. All right, gamers. Now that we got slime. The one thing we'll need now, you know what? Go ahead and enclose this. All right, I have it enclosed. Hopefully, no slime would be getting out. Hmm. Okay. Guess what? That. Okay. Uh, I was getting scared there. I thought he would be able to hop out or something. All right, gamers. We were trying to get the lily pad of fertility, but the problem is, we don't have no lily pads. That's crazy. So, let's learn how to make some lily pads. Pythogenic insulator. Could use that. Or, mana infusion from Britannia. Hmm. Alright. I don't really know how to get slag and stuff. So, we're going to be using Britannia. So, we're going to need an alchemy catalyst. Huh? Mana Pearl, four living rocks. Brewing stands. To get the mana pearls, we just need to drown a Ender Pearl in mana. So mana pearl and four of the living rock. There we go. There we go, gamers. We have the alchemy catalyst. I'm gonna need a sticky piston. And a lever. Alright, so this is how it's going to work. You're going to put this alchemy catalyst underneath the mana pool. Like that. No, I kind of want to make it symmetrical though. Actually, will this work like this? So we're going to put a sticky piston underneath so that we could turn it on and off basically. Here we go, we got it facing the right orientation. We believe I want it to push and pull. Eh, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Did it? Let's see. Oh, now it's all the way over there. Well, not the ideal thing, but as long as this alchemy catalyst is underneath the mana pool, it will work. All right, so we're gonna need. How do you make the little pads? 
we are going to need to put vines into mana to make lily pad. We need jungle trees. Alright, so to get jungle trees, I just need to put oak in here, right? No, wait, using the alchemy catalyst. There we go. Like that, and then put this into birch, and then from birch to jungle. Good! That's how it's done, gamers. Now we just have to grow it and grab ourselves some vines. I'll be using the watering can and reservoirs to fill it up and stuff. Alright, we got ourselves a jungle tree. Let's just shear it down now. Alright gamers, we got 34 vines. Hopefully that's more than enough of what we need here. Alright, little pads, yay! Alright, now that we got the lily pads, we need to go ahead and make patterns. Patterns, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna teach the system to make lily pad of fertility. Pretty easy stuff. Green dye. Huh, well then. Oh, I just need to use slime ball in there. Hmm. You know what? We are in need of mana. So, let's go ahead and upgrade our mana generation system here. Honestly. We're gonna need a whole lot more endo flames. Actually, you know what? Let's just do what we can for now. Maybe upgrade it later. We need... 9. Let's see if we could get 9 without having to do crazy stuff. So we'll get our cactus and then we'll smelt them. Alright, now we've got some green dice. We could go back to teaching the system. I had to make this. Like that. Alright gamers. Let's go make 9 if possible. Good! It's possible. We got this. Okay, we got a little power fertility. Now we just need to place them strategically here. I do know they have a range of three up and down I believe. So all right these little holes are gonna go water. All right we need water on top of here so that Ooh, oh no so that there's somewhere the lily pads can be on. And these will speed up growth a lot. So hopefully that takes care of some of our canola issues out here. Let's see how fast, much faster it grows. You can actually see it right in front of your eyes, gamers. They're crazy. That's good. All right, hopefully you'll get quite a bit more canola this way. Um. I see that we do have a lot of canola seeds. Hmm, I shouldn't worry about it yet. <laughs> I'll take care of it later. Alright, I'm glad that this is doing its thing. Getting so much more canola, which is great. Which is great. I don't know if this will be able to hold it. Having nine lily pads for somebody like this. Oopsie. Hmm. <clears throat> We'll see. That probably means we'll have extra canola in here now. Yep. That's nice. I do want to multiply this setup by 9 times. So that's going to give us to 120 times 9 times 9. So once I have this set up correctly, I should be getting about 9800 RF per tick. From canola. So uh, let's go ahead and go get. Let's see. I'm gonna need more compression dynamos. I'm thinking. I need four to five compression dynamos, and that means four to five times five fuel catalyzers, and four to five augment. Totally looping augments.
This is taking quite a bit, boys. Um, I also do need some kits. Resonate. So I need about four to five of these. Oh my goodness, the amount of stuff that we need. We'll get to it, we'll get to it. Oh my goodness, boys, the demands. We do, we will need to upgrade this thing. So, without further ado, we'll do that. Just to get a lot more mana. Alright gamers, so... In order to get more of these Endo Flames, I'm gonna need more seeds. And that is why I'm making this, uh... Horn of the Wild, from Botania. Which will help me do just that. Horn of the Wild, there we go. Pretty easy stuff. It's just living wood with pasture seeds. Pasture seed can be found by grass into a mana pool. Alright, let me show you guys what it does. So Horn of the Wild, that's his thing. It breaks the uh what does it do? It just breaks living things around or grass if I'm to say. So excuse me while I go get some seeds. Um since I have a bunch of items on me, I'm just gonna use this as a hub to get to my chest. Alright, this should be enough seeds. So let's go ahead and master these these uh endo flames. Alright, we got endo flames. And we'll set it up in a circle like fashion. If you guys didn't know, one fancy use for this is getting glowstone just like this. I'm gonna empty out the mana by doing it. I'm turning my redstone to glowstone. I always need some more of those. Alright, it is out of mana-ish. So let's go ahead and move it. Eh, it doesn't look super pretty, but it is what it is. We got our one of the fourths. Let's go ahead and make sure this looks at the mana spreader. Looks like that. And let's connect these endo flames to said mana spreaders. Alright, let's fuel up the uh, endo flames. Huh. I wonder if that was enough range. Let's see. Oh, I see the problem to my design here. The endo flames don't have enough range where the ones in the back to get this thing hmm. what's the solution i don't know for now but this is the setup for now it's just this is how we're gonna get glowstone from now on using redstone into mana pool Alright, I changed this design just a little bit. Hopefully this should fix my problem that I saw earlier. And I'm assuming it is fix it. It did fix it. Alright. So that's gonna be our setup there. Ah, we are gonna have a problem with canola seeds overrunning. So we're gonna need to uh give it some drawers, boys. Give it some drawers. Oh, give me two and two of these. That should suffice for now. Alright, we got a whole bunch of canola things following me. This is gonna be the setup here. So we'll have canola seeds there. And canola right here. Need to move things around. I know it. Alright, so I have canola being inserted into here, and the seeds go into the sower first before making it to the drawer. Those are the priorities. Alright, that is the play, gamers. Over here, I'm mass producing Electrum. 
and uh, everything else I need to for the upgrade kits. Oh, uh, to mass produce signalium. You know what? Let's go grab blocks of these things. Give ourselves 10 blocks. No, one block of silver, three blocks of copper, and 10 blocks of redstone. Okay, boys, I might be overkilling with this to be honest. Let, let's lower it down. <laughs> Alright, I got stacks of ender pearls, stacks of lead, and the platinum, platinum is on its way. And let's look at our signalium here. We've got about 85 blocks and 23 blocks of electrum. I think I must have gotten mixed up because I thought I calculated this correctly. Well, that's okay. All right, gamers, we got Ethereum bases. That's great. Let's see what I got sand here. The sand we got, you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and get more plat. All right, boys, we got blocks of signalium and electrum that took quite a bit to make. And we do have Ethereum on its way also. It's like that. All right. See if we have enough to make what I wanted to make, which was 45 resonant grade kits. Oh, more Ethereum, signalium, and lumium. All right, I believe I have enough now. Come on, bro. Endirium. Missing 46. Alright. Just quick acceleration in. And bam. Let's watch it get do its thing. So it's making Electrum Gear. And now it's making resonant upgrade kits. And then signalium upgrades. And then it's using that to make the Conversion kits. Very good. So we got compression dynamos. We need four to five times three of these. 135. Yep. Basically, I want to have it set up like this. Yes. It's like that. So let's go ahead and get that going. Alright, just like that. We'll have it set up like this. Alright gamers, have it set up like this. We're all extracting and inserting to that one flux plug I have in there. Which is connected to my source. Just right here. Which is good, which is good. That's our canola oil, all right. And the only thing now left is to connect them all together. I'm actually in need of more fluid conduits. You know, before we do the conduits, we should upgrade them to their proper level. So we'll be using augments. I will be using the close loop augments and the catalyzers. Ooh, before I can't even do that, I need to put the kits in. There we go. Four to five of them. All right, we've got the exact amount of upgrades as I calculated. Now let's all connect them all together using conduit. All right, they're all connected. And now we'll just put these to insert. Oh, they're actually receiving canola oil now. Okay, that's good. Alright, fellow gamers. They are full of canola oil. That's good. All that's left is to fill it up with cryodium. Actually, we'll do that. Go ahead and get ourselves a drum here. A better drum. Um, I'm gonna teach the system how to make the drums. Alright, get a drum, just like this. 
Bam. Alright. Got our drum. Let's go replace this boy with something bigger. Just like that. Alright. And let's go give these guys the fuel, the coolant I meant. There we go. Now it's all producing. 120RF for thick. 120 RF per tick times 9. That's 1080 per side, which is the six size. So this is producing about 6480 RF per tick around here. Hmm. Not as much as I thought, but that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Priotium's going down. That's fine. I don't think we'll need it in the future. Hopefully. Alright, let's go ahead and drain the rest into the bigger drum. Alright, gamers. We got that crazy looking thing. So, that is good. Very good. I think I'm ending the episode here. So if you guys like my canola farm and then my 6,000 RF per thick setup here, 6480, go ahead and give me a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe if you would like to see more Minecraft, modded Minecraft content. So, yep.